Hello and welcome everyone to another video lecture brought to you by Chess.com and I am Daniel Wrench. We are here today to continue our topic of the isolated queen pawn. Um, today in particular we're going to keep talking about the attacking ideas and how to play with this uh, beautiful pawn right here on d4. And um, obviously I recommend, I've recommended at the beginning of this lecture series, especially in the introduction video, that maybe you take some notes um, and really try to remember all the little details, the little idiosyncrasies of this pawn structure and how to play with and against the pawn. Um, and you're really going to get a lot out of this series if you do because this is such a practical pawn structure. So, not going to go on again and, and ramble about um, the same things that I did in the introduction video. But what we are going to do is jump right into the attacking ideas and how white should play these positions. Um, in the second video, we talked a lot about the d5 breakthrough and the different situations where that, that um, the breakthrough and the busting open of the center can be really favorable to white because he has such active pieces. Um, Today's lecture, however, is not really centered around the d5 breakthrough. Obviously, you should always be looking for those ideas. Um, I'm not going to say you don't play it at, at you know any point in these videos we're going to do today. Um, but it's not really centered around that breakthrough. Um, in fact, what I what I would really categorize uh, this particular video today about is just about really standard attacking ideas, looking for attacking formations toward the king side, using our open diagonals, using the pressure that our pieces sort of naturally create um, on the E file, the knight coming to E5, the queen coming up. We have obviously a lot of pieces with the potential of coming toward the king side and attacking um, as we do in this isolated queen pawn structure almost always. And uh, that's what we're doing today. We are looking for a way. I'm going to make a move here and just kind of reset the board, get rid of these arrows. Um, we're looking for a way to improve our attacking chances and, and to really find some nice follow-ups and follow-throughs and knockout blows to kill the Black King. Okay? So, as usual, I like to give positions where you can think about it. Um, now would be a time where I would recommend the video to be paused for maybe three to five minutes and look at this position. There is actually a very direct attacking line and, and attacking formation that White can take toward the king side in this position and pretty much win the game on the spot. Um, you know, not like one move he's resigning here. It's like seven, eight moves from now. Uh, but uh, it's definitely a very clear-cut way for White to improve his attacking chances. So... I'd like you to pause the video. Okay, and we are going to assume that you did that, right? We always listen to what our coach tells us. I'm not your coach, but, you know, listen. Okay, Okay, guys, so uh, here we go. What did White do here? We hope you enjoyed this video demo from Chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.